Alrighty guys, welcome to my first actual update, progress, anything to my new secondary uh, freelance industrial park layout. I'm just going to go over kind of the things that I have here, the kind of maybe a backstory to it. Uh, I'll start off with the very end of the industrial park. You are going to have this large uh, grocery like packing plant back here. That back spur is separated from the other two. It'll take in reefer cars. I am having it. I still have quite a mess right here where I'm going to do some pave it and concrete. There'll be lights and gates around it and this will take in the box cars, hoppers for, for, for grain, tank cars. Back here, you'll continue on. It's got a little bit of a tiny fiddle yard as well through here. Back here, you'll have the two tracks going into what will eventually be a scrap yard, like a scrap dealer. Uh, they'll take in four or five cars at a time, and then there'll be three or four to the side that they kind of switch in, set and pick. On this side, you've got what will eventually be a furniture factory. I, if you have any na ideas for names for for industries, uh, I greatly appreciate them. I'm still kind of trying to figure out a name for them. Through here, you're going to have an abandoned rail spur that once upon a time must have been a diamond across this. It goes along the front and pretty much dies out around here. Uh, this This must have been an industry or something at one point or another. I just love to implement abandoned rail scenes within layouts. Uh, as we get onto this side of the layout, up until yesterday, this was literally a cutoff track and I was gonna have this as kind of a story of this was once upon a time, a secondary main line uh, that they eventually severed here. I mean, well, turned into a branch and severed here and just left the industrial park, but I just kept looking over here. I was like, you know what? I'd really like to put in a box car or something for a team track. I have the pavement already back there. So I've opted to do that. We do have the maintenance away train sitting there right now. You'll go across here and along the door, the drop-in door section, where you'll get to the staging interchange uh, yard. I still need to apply more plexiglass it's a three track wide can fit about i don't know 11 to 13 cars i'd say that engine is just sitting there just for a prop you'll have this little spur siding for the switcher engines to go to so i'll need at least two so you'll have some push and pull on both sides in order to do certain moves i still need to do a lot of the ballast and a lot of the scenery work uh there's still a lot to be done but yeah, you'll go across over through here and then the main line would have continued on. I haven't decided whether it's going to be Union Pacific or Southern Pacific main line and just one or the other getting the trackage rights, but that's kind of the aim at this moment of time. Uh, for the next few days, I'll probably be working on doing more bracing for the uh, bench work, not my greatest, I'm not the greatest at it, but I am trying my best here. So I'm just glad that this layout's finally going. My main layout, which is eventually a triple decker layout based in between 1910 to 1930. Uh, it is down as my system fried a couple years back and the, and my hobby money's been pretty much into other hobbies or into, uh, things I really needed the money for so I'm glad to be able to share this for just a short amount of time uh, this is the first one of hopefully many and eventually I'll do op sessions as well um, so thank you very much guys for watching I'm glad I'm able to share this with you